Here we are now in, um, at the brewery. We're in week four of trading, and um, you know it's, we've come a long way in the last 90 to 100 days, um, and it's a good place to be at. Straight after February the 22nd earthquake, uh, there were fermenters here that had exploded. There was yeast and mess all over the place. Uh, and now I'm right behind the bar and right in front of our beautiful bridge kettle with a gorgeous copper dome that is uh, working like crazy. Pre-quake, we were, um, this building was due to be demolished and that was going to be our brew pub in that building there. Plans were underway, work was well underway and then slam-o, February 22. Yes, this building was going to get demolished, uh, but it was the only building left standing after the quake. We had to use it or go into business. We ran around, got consents, got resource consents, building consents, liquor licensing. We worked very hard for, you know, all day every day sort of thing for a period of time until we were open. Uh, we had a lot of help from some really talented people and we opened our restaurant three weeks ago and, it, and it's been um, fantastic. All done in the space of four months. We did really well. Well, prior to the earthquake, uh, our, our focus was uh, brewing beer to sell in bottles. Uh, and now we can't, keep up, we can't keep up with the bottling. We're selling so much beer over the bar. This is the only place you can come and see brew, uh, beer being made as it was 200 years ago with a wood-fired kettle. Then fossil fuel came along and beer brewing got boring. You just pressed a button, on came the fossil fuel in the way of electricity or gas, and your beer got made. But what we're doing here is the way beer used to be brewed with a wood-fired kettle. And involves a bit more thought and a bit more skill. Um, it's all about building the fire at the right time, slowly building it up, um, opening the vents at the right time. It's about the choice of wood, the size of the wood, uh, the moisture content of the wood, but it's also about the, the wind on the day and, and how, the, how the, the wind going across the chimney affects the drawer. Uh, and that, all, that is all um, has an impact on the boil and ultimately the flavour of the beer. We open at 8 in the morning, um, we got some great baristas coming in then and uh, we've got excellent cabinet proof. Full breakfast menu, full lunch menu, um, wood fired pizzas, we got these great fries happening, we chop chips ourselves. We've got nine beers on at the moment, um, there's another, another couple of beers that uh, I can rotate and bring on and off, uh, so uh, yeah I think I've got 11 or 12 beers um, all together. And each one of them is, um, is developing a bit of a little fan club, I guess. Lager, Pilsner, Dunkel, extra special bitter. Um, but recently Nigel's come up with a whole lot of new brews. We've also got our seasonal brews, the medicinal and the elder ale, which we've just run out of. But there's also a lot of real ales that Nigel's recently been getting into. We've got a, a milk stout, we've got a best bitter. I like seeing all the uh, guest taps. I really enjoy seeing all the other breweries' beers on there and they come and go and I get to try them. And and test it all out and oh, I, th I think it's a good experience actually, you know, people can come down here and try everyone else's beer. That's exciting to see people sort of try something new and, and, and like it. I enjoy the gigs, I enjoy being a, a, a music venue. Last night we had Reverend Beatman and Delaney Davidson and they were excellent. Um, there's probably every other night would be averaging, you know, there's, 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 there's always plenty on. We're becoming, and we hope to become, a, 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 you know, a, a proper venue. I like it because it's, it's a green shoot, it's something to happen after the earthquake, it's just part of Christchurch rebuilding. I like it because it it's, seems to have galvanised the community, we've had great support, uh, it's been wonderful to be part of this green shoot. We want to continue with the rest of the tannery site, which is the oldest industrial site left in Christchurch, we want to continue developing it. Uh, and have a, an art centre here and have uh, a lot more retail and a winery. There's also the potential for other bars in the city and in other cities. We've had phenomenal success, uh, everyone's enjoying it and I'm working very hard to make sure that we maintain quality and keep up with stock. 